Hi, I'm Dancy. This is our anti-gravity workout at East Bank Club. We don't use any gear, but we get a great functional workout for our whole body. And if you think not working with equipment is easy, you're in for a big surprise. So let's get started. You ready to get started? Okay, we're gonna start with our legs about hip width apart. And I want you to center yourself so you feel your weight in your whole body. Let's take a big breath in and make a big Y with those arms. So big Y, you let your heart lift all the way up. Take a break, we're gonna do that a few more times. Just so you feel your sternum lift all the way up. And you've got one more time like that, big reach. We're gonna change this up to a squat correction. So if you feel yourself folding right at your hip like you've got a rope around your waist, it's pulling your hips back so you can reach for your toes. From here, I just want you to bend your knees so your hips are about even with your knees. From there, holding those hips right there, I'd like you to take your arms, arms up overhead and then push the ground away. And let's do that again, that squat correction. So reach for those toes, bend your knees, hips are even with those knees. You're gonna lift your chest up, show me those arms, get up a little bit taller, push up. And let's just do that two more times. How's that going? Toes, that looks good. Aaron, Suzanne, getting it done. Big reach all the way up, come on up. Oh yeah, one more time, let's go. Drop them down, give me a little bend. You got it, big reach all the way up. Come on up, now can you squat down again? Just keeping those hips and that chest up. How about three more squats? Drop on down, beautiful. Two more just like that. Yeah, you've got one more. Whew. That was good for that squat correction. Bring those feet together and we're gonna do a knee hug. So I'd like you to take your right leg, pull it into your chest and pull it up, work in that balance a little bit and then drop right down. We're working a little bit of hip separation and obviously you've got some balance in there, but we wanna make sure here that as you drive in, you push the foot that's on the ground away. We're gonna go two more on each side. Ladies, you're staying up balancing better than me. Yeah, one more time, just like that. Big knee hug, in and switch it up. So we're gonna move on to an inverted hamstring. And that fold at your hip is what we're looking for. Bring your arms straight to your side and kick your right leg straight back. So this looks a little bit like we're ice skating. Push that left foot in the ground and come all the way back up and then change sides. So big reach, come on up. Keep that going. You can see as they reach, right, their toe faces down and just moving from that hip, pull right back up. So you get that beautiful drive right from that hip and that hip flexion and extension. Let's do two more there. We're hitting it here. Come on back. Yes. That's it. I'm trying really to keep that back toe down to the ground and moving from my hip. Oh, we just got that left leg. Yeah. Excellent. Take a little break. Take a step back with your right foot. So bend that knee a little bit and tuck your hip. Let's just do one big reach up to the ceiling and then give me a little side bend. Oh yeah. Open it up that hip and then come on up. We'll change sides. Left foot back. You're bending that knee. Tuck your hip. Give me a big reach and then a side bend. Uh, we're going to do that a few more times. So step back right. Big reach to the ceiling. Side bend. Ah. Uh, and one more, left, big reach, give me a side bend, come on up. Now I just wanna open up those adductors a little bit. So let's take that right leg, give me a big lateral lunge, and we're looking here, hip, knee, ankle in a line, push right back, same side, let's do it again. Drop and push, can you give me six more of that side? Drop and push, yeah. Four more just that side. Can you feel the stretch in that left inner thigh, yeah? Okay, we've got two more there. Hup. One more. Now we gotta change sides, do the exact same thing. Let's go. Oh. And sometimes you'll notice one side's a lot easier than the other, and that's just something you take notice of, especially if you find that you feel like you get a little imbalance at times. So make sure you keep them even and you get that adductor stretch. We've got two more. One more. All right, come on in, we're gonna do a drop lunge. Some people call this a curtsy lunge. Take a step back with your right foot and drop down, but your chest stays up. Come on up, step back with your left foot, chest stays up, drop it down. Come on up, hit that again. Yeah. So, are we starting to feel like we're a little warmed up? A little looser? Nice. One more on each side. Yes. 
Excellent. Let's get down to the ground. We're going to go on our hands and knees. And I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see. And then we'll work with our ladies too. So once we're on those hands and knees, I want you to feel like you're going to push the ground away with those shoulders. And take that belly and pull it in. So we want to make sure we're not rounding and we're not dragging our belly in. So we're in a nice neutral position. And then, you ready? Let's go to the front. We're going to make sure you've got a good cup of coffee or glass of water on your back. And we're going to take that right knee and I want you to circle it back. So you're drawing the biggest circle you can. You got it. Four more like that. So that head stays long because as we're pushing away from those arms, that should help. We've got one more. Now change a little bit and circle forward for me. Give me eight like that. So we want to warm up that hip all those rotators. Yeah, can we get four more there? Push the ground away. Three, two, one more. Set it down and we're changing sides, yes? Do a quick check for that core and let's go left knee. Circles around, circles around. See, look at that, keep circling, you got it. And you can kind of see here, Aaron's not moving anything with that core. So I could have a glass of water or a glass of wine in there and it wouldn't spill. That's what I want. Now reverse that circle, bring them forward. You got it, keeping that core really tight. That's it, oh, we've got four more like that. So let's hit it, one, two, three, and four, okay, so we've kind of warmed up those hips a little bit. Let's get on our side and finish this off. So from here, I want you on your right side, and we're gonna get, to get comfy for a little bit. Pull both knees in for me, and then take that top leg and lean into it. So if I look at it, it looks like my top leg's longer than my bottom leg. You can even put that top arm down, but we're gonna put some external internal rotation together. So lift up your top knee, and then swing your top foot up. Yeah, then bring it back down and bring it together. So we're gonna go knee, foot up, foot up, and foot down. And the goal here is these deep rotators in that hip. So often we don't use enough of these. We've got six back there that help hold those knees in a line and gait but they also have to internally rotate. So it's often in this little swing that everybody kind of feels like it's a little sticky. So I want you to feel every little glide in there. We've got one more. Nice. Take a little break. And now that you're on your side, I want you to pop up to this forearm. So when I'm here, I've got my shoulder over my elbow and I don't want to wear that Shoulder is my earring, so push that shoulder away. And then we're gonna lift our hip first, and then lift your top leg and your arm so you make a star. You both are stars back there. Come on down. Show me that star again. Let's go. Big drive, working those abductors. Let it down. Show me again. Drive. Let it down. Oh, my hip's tired already. Yes, we've got four more. Feel that bottom hip really squeeze. Oh, that's solid. You got three. Ooh, I wish we didn't have two sides, <laughs> but we do. And we're going to get them both. This is our last one. Hold it for a second. Four, three, two, one. Take a break. We're just going to roll over to the other side. You guys ready for that? Yeah. No, I know. That's how I feel too. So we're going to get comfy first, right? Oh, it's so nice. Then pull those knees in. Remember, you got to take that top hip and bring it in. We don't want to be moving this hip. We're moving from the hip. So bring your top knee up and then swing it up. Oh, my leg's a little sticky on this side. Let's do that again. Knee, foot, foot, knee. There you go. Knee, foot, foot, knee. We've got five more. I wish it wasn't so many, but I think we got it. Four more. Remember, this knee is reaching forward, so we really get that rotator. Yeah, that's great. You got two more. Knee, foot. Isn't it that inside when you do that internal rotation? It's so sticky. That's our last one. Could take a break. Are you ready? We're popping up to that left forearm. So in line with that elbow, we don't want to wear that shoulder as your earring. So let's start pushing that hip up first. That feels good. Woo! And then take that top leg up. We've got our star. Drop down and come on up. Oh, yeah. 
That's it. There's the star. Woo. Okay. I feel it. We got four more. Drive that hip up. Oh, three. Oh. Two, oh, this hip is killing me. One more. Now we got to hold it up. Hold it right there. Four, three. I want to hurry this up. Two, one. Take a break. <sighs> okay, so we've got those hips. Everybody's got those hips. Let's go onto our hands and knees, and we're going to do a little crawling. So here's what I want you to do first. If you take your toes and dig them down into the ground, and then just barely lift your knees off the ground. So pull your belly in as tight as you can. And then we're going to walk forward. So opposite hand and leg. So let's go right hand and left foot walk. And then left and right, right and left, left and right. Four, three, two. Let's back it up now. So walk it back. Backwards always is so hard to coordinate, but I think we got this. Uh-oh, losing a mic. Good. Let's take a little break right there. Rest for a second. So if you need to, you can kind of do a quick stretch, but we're getting ready to do another crawl and we're going to go right and left. So we're going that way. So right where you're at, lift those knees up, pull your belly in and let's go take a little walk to the right. Yes, to the right. This one's harder to coordinate, isn't it? I got to figure this one out. You got to think about it. Now head to the left. Let's do it. That's always the switch that gets me. It's the switch. Two more times. One more time. Yes, take a break. Oh, come on right back to those feet when you're ready. And let's put some of this stuff together. Ladies, we're crushing it. Okay, so we are going to start with a little bit of a lunge to a balance. We've worked our glutes and our core, so we're warmed up. So let's do this. Right foot forward, left foot back. And you want to be on that back toe. So let's think about dropping down. And if you fold a little bit here, I'm not mad at you, right? I just want you to drop down, push your weight through your right foot, and just come to a balance. Easy. Do it again. Drop and balance. Drop and balance. We just have four more like this. You want to keep that heart up and open. Yeah, two more times. Yeah, one more. Now hold it up for a second. Hold the balance. Now let's see what you got. Can you do that inverted hamstring again? You're going to kick your leg back. Come on up. You can tap down. Same thing. Fold at that hip. Kick your leg back. Come on up. So we want to start to activate that glute a little bit so you feel it in your backside. There you go. Four more times. Let it drop. Drive it in. Three. Drive it in. You got two more. That's it. One more time. Excellent. Now we're not done with that leg. We're going to put those two together. So watch out. Kick your left leg back to a lunge. Show me a balance. Now kick that leg straight back. Oh, and then tap it down. Do it again. Lunge. Show me a balance. Ha. Kick it straight back. Bring it down. Let's go two more. Drop. You should be feeling that right leg. You feel that right leg? Okay, one more time. Me too. Ooh. Yes. Kick it back. Come on up. Ah. Oh. Let's get that left leg. So hopefully that left leg's going to feel like that right one. So you're on your left foot. Bring your right foot back. Drop your knee down. There we go. Show me that lunge and balance. Hit it again. Drop and balance. I always say when we're balancing, we want to own the balance, right? So you feel like... Somebody could try and push you over, or there's a big breeze, and you wouldn't let it push you over because you're pushing that left foot through the ground. Two more. Uh, last one. Now we're going to hold that balance. Show me how sturdy you are. Okay, ready? Fold at that hip. Kick your right leg back, and you can tap it down. Kick it back. Fold at that hip. Six more there. Six Oh, oh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Four more. See, we all fall over. Even your favorite instructors fall over, right? Two more. One more. And that's the beauty of exercise, right? You can always recover. So let's put it together. Lunge and then that hip. So drop your knee. You're low. Balance. Kick it back. Oop. Come on up. Let's do it. You got three more. Drop it. Bring it up. Yes. 
Kick it back. Come on up. Solid. Two more like that. Drop it. Pick it up. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling that left glute now. Yes. Pick it up. Ah, come on up. Whew. Nicely done. So we've got a little strength there. We're going to do a little bit of landing because at the end of the day, if we have to step off a curb, we got to catch ourselves. We need to know how to land. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start like we're landing. We landed. I stepped off. I'm ready. I landed. Now here's where we're going to go. I want you to come up. You're falling. Ready? And land. Oh, I see. They, land. they got the ground behind me, don't they? Let's go. Big lift up. How about it? Land. You got one more. You're falling, you're falling, you're falling, you're falling, and land. Now, can you guys do that on one leg? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You're with me out there. So you're on your right foot. Let's go. We're up, and we're falling just on that right leg. We're going to land, and you got to stick it. Stick that landing. I'm giving you a 9.9. .9. Do it again. Come on up. Stick that landing. Hup. So if you're feeling really good about it, right, you can even add a little hop in there. Drop it. Hup. Ooh, one more. Oh, yeah. Ready? Get it. Hup. Are they staying up? Okay, let's switch sides. Whew. See, that was my bad leg, so I got the good leg. I feel like I'm going to be good. Now I'm going to mess it up totally. So you're on your left leg. Let's go right here. You're falling, you're falling, you're falling. Ready? Catch it. Okay, do it again. We're coming up. How about it? Ready? Catch it. Hup. Two more like that. Yes. And catch it. One more. So when you really catch it, you know you've got that hip. Go. Oh, take a break. Whew. Nice job. I landed. We all landed. I think we need to do some push-ups after that. We're going to give those legs a break. Is that cool? So let's go. We're going to get started here. And if you put your arms down, we're going to start with a scat push-up. And I'm not mad if you're on your knees or your toes, or I'll give you a little option if you want to put together. So let's start here with our hands under our shoulders. And I like to think here, just so we get that lat involved, screw your hands into the ground. So you're going to screw them in. Sometimes I feel like it's, you're taking your elbow pit and you're trying to turn it forward a little bit. But let's start right there. And you can be on your toes. I want you to take your shoulder blades totally together and then push them away. Shoulder blades together and push them away. So what we're trying to do here with those shoulder blades together is really get that serratus to push away. Drop down and then push away. Yes. Look at that. One more like that. Suzanne's got it. Drive it away. Drive it away. Push away. Now, let's add a push-up to that. So, knees or toes, we're going to come all the way down, and then feel yourself push the ground away, push your shoulder blades away too. Hit it, drop, and push. You've got six more like that. Six. Yeah. Five. Four more. No, I'm not doing these, right? Three. <laughs> Because there was a mic. I just lost the mic. So there we go. I love it. You know, I got out of that one, right? One more. I like it. Take a break. But we're not done. So come here. I think everybody, even if you're out there, you can do this on your toes too. So we're right here. Push that ground away. I want you to walk a little bit to your right. So as we go, you're going to take your left arm and your right foot. Walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. You got one more little walk. We're changing directions. Let's go. Walk, walk, walk. That's it. Two more. One more. Hold it right here. Now push that ground away. Bend your knees. Push your hips back so you change the angle at that shoulder. Come on up. One more. Bend them. Push back like you're doing a squat. Come on up. You're feeling strong. Lift your left arm up. Let's go right here. Oh, why do we have to get those hips back? If you can, you can stack your legs. And then see if you can lift your top leg up. Up. Let them down. Up. Let them down. So everybody here, yes, I'm not going to let them do it by, on their own. We've got four more like that. Push one. I know. Two, you can always drop down to your bottom knee. Three. And four. Bring it down. Come on down. Woo. Should we take a break? Let's take a break for a second. Sit back. Ah. We have another side. So let's go. We're going to come on up. So you're back there. You're pushing that ground away. This time lift your right arm up. You can stay right here or stack them. 
Give me eight. Show me a lift. Let it down. Seven. And if you just need to hold that, that's fine. We've got four more. That bottom knee works. Aaron, that bottom knee works great, doesn't it? Yeah, you got two more like that. One more. Come on down. Take a break. Drop those knees and sit back. Woo. Well, that was tough. But we got that done. Let's come on up and go ahead and roll on your back so we can get some bridging in. So we want to try and get all of this backside and then we can finish with a little bit more upper body work. So if you roll all the way on your back, feet down, and you get to relax again. But we're going to start here just pulling that tailbone up into a bridge. So if you let your arms relax and you tuck your pelvis for a second and then peel your spine up one vertebra at a time. And I like to make sure you feel that in your glute and you don't feel like your knees are pushing forward. So you're feeling the drive up rather than the quads driving forward. So let's stay right here for a second. And if you need a little bit of help, you can bring your arms to the side. But I want you to keep those hips square so that cup of coffee has now moved to our belly. We're going to bring that right leg in, hold that left hip up, let it drop down. So we're doing a little bridge march. Left hip in, let it down. Right in, let it down. Left in, let it down. There we go. Oh, so we don't want to feel like we put too much weight in that upper body, but we're really feeling like we're driving from those hips. Can we go four more? So we're going to go one and two. Hey, you got two more like that. Two, last one. Good. Take a break. Drop down. We're going to try and make this a little bit harder. So if you roll up and you take your hands behind you, we're gonna do a long-legged bridge march. Now, it's a little bit tricky, so if you're not comfortable here, just go back to the last bridge, that's fine. You'll get here at some point, and then you can also just bend your knees as you need to. But if you've got your legs extended, I want you to drive your hips up. So the other thing we need to do is really pull your toes up so you feel like you're driving. If you're comfortable and you wanna look at the ceiling, that's fine, or if you'd like to look forward, either way works. So you're gonna push your right heel into the ground and then bring your left leg in, and then let it down. Right leg in, let it down. You got it. Left leg in, let it down. You got it. So Aaron's doing a great job bending your knees a little bit because this is a real toughie. And so this should not hurt in your hamstring. We want to make sure that you're really just getting that backside to fire. Good. Take a break. Oh, yeah, that was serious. That was serious there. Yeah. I mean, that's some crazy stuff. Let's flip ourselves right back over for a second because we're going to get to a little bit of planking and then let's stretch out from there. So let's get our plank. And here's what you do. Drop down so your arms make a little bit of 11 and we're going to, they make a figure 11. You're all the way on the ground. So I like to do a plank this way because if I dig my knees into the ground and just pull my belly in and roll up, I know that I've got my belly pulled in. So the common mistake with planks, right, is that we're either rounding or we lift our hips or we let them drop. So you want to be just right there. Let's dig those toes into the ground and lift your knees up. So right here, you're pulling that belly button really, really in. And it's hard to really feel this plank. But these two ladies are so strong. You can see like this, these are like some perfect planks. And what I'm looking at is shoulder, hip, knee, ankle in a line. I don't see a break anywhere there. And they're driving in from that belly button. So they feel like they're really strong and protected here. So let's do this. We're not going to move our hips at all. And I just want you to tap your knees on the ground. So let's just do a little tap. Come back up. Tap, come back up, tap, come back up. Just one more. So from here, hold that plank. We're going to make it a little bit harder. So I want you to lift your right foot up. Hip only. Let it down. Left foot up. Ugh. Let it down. Right foot up. Let it down. Left foot up. Good. We just have four more like that. You're trying not to let that back extend. Two to go. Ugh. One more, and I'll give you a break. Take a break. Whoo. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of anti-rotation, and that's just to make sure that we work 
where we can manage our hips forward even when an extremity has to move around, which is really important for gait. For all my runners out there, you don't want to run with one hip forward all the time. That feels terrible. So let's go on our hands and toes in a high plank, and we're going to take our feet and make a big A. So first level, we're just going to take our right hand, tap your left shoulder, and then switch. So we said it before, we have a cup of coffee or a glass of water or a glass of wine. And it's a really good glass of wine, so we don't want to spill it. So if that felt okay, try reaching up overhead and those hips don't move. Yeah. Reach. Reach four to go like this. Let's do it. One, two, two more. Oh, one more. Beautiful. Take a break. We didn't spill that wine, did we? Not an ounce. Okay, so I'm going to have you roll all the way on your belly. And we'll get this done. So from here, it's a little tricky because we are going to take those toes. If you can, squeeze your hips down to the ground. I like to flex my feet, but if you're comfortable just pushing those hips down, that's fine. We're going to let that head come down. And then I want you to take your arms, let them rest on your low back. So just right there. Now we're going to lift those arms to the ceiling. Swing them all the way around like we're doing a butterfly stroke. Reach up, reach up, reach up, and then let them drop. Now arms go up to the ceiling again. And then swing all the way back and let them drop down. So that head stays down, arms up. Swing all the way around. Let them down. Bring it up, swing all the way around, and let them back. We're going to hit that two more times. So are you squeezing those glutes, everybody? Squeeze those glutes, too. Come on up, swing them back. Oh, we got one more like that. I'm going to keep my head down. Big reach, and that biggest reach all the way up. Come on up. Take a little break. Ah. Bring those hands right underneath your shoulders and give me a prone press up. So that can be wherever. And if you're comfortable just on those forearms, by all means, work in any range of motion that works for you. Good. Let's drop down. And then we're going to push up to those hands and knees. And from here, just give me a nice cat and cow. So feel that belly pull all the way in. You can let that head hang for a second. And then on that cow, just focus on opening up your heart. Ah. Find neutral for me and take a step forward with your right foot. And then I want you to work on just tucking your hip forward. So I know we're leaning into it, but I also want that pelvis to tuck. You can feel that stretch in that anterior hip. Just lift that left arm up to the ceiling and get up out of that rib. That feels so good. And then take a break. Let's change sides. So right there, again, make sure that you don't just press. We just don't want all that back extension. So you're going to tuck that hip. Tuck it in. And then big reach all the way up. Get up out of that rib. Oh, that feels so good. And then take a break. Let's do this. From that foot, can you push yourself up? See, we're almost home. We're stretching now. So we're going to get a quad stretch right here because we did a lot of stuff for our anterior chain. So if you're on your left foot, see if you can bend that right leg. Reach for your foot or shin. Tuck that hip in for me. And you're just holding that. I know the balance is hard, so if you want to hang on to a friend or the couch or a wall, that works too. Some of my young triathletes tell me if I do this, that that really works. And I think I could stay here for a while if I grab my earlobe. I don't know why. Go ahead and change sides. But try it if that works. If you feel like you're falling over, you want to grab your earlobe, give it a try. Big stretch. Anybody get in the earlobe? See, now I'm not falling over anymore. I should have done that earlier. All right, take a little break from there. We're going to just bring those legs. You got one more stretch for me. You can turn those toes out as you want, but I want you to drop your hips. Try and keep your heart open. Open your knees so we get those short adductors to stretch. And you can let those hips sink as low as you want and wherever you're comfortable. So it doesn't have to be stressful. If you're nervous about that knee, just keep those hips a little bit higher. We're going to take those arms away. Push away. Bring those feet together. Heart stays lifted. Give me one big reach all the way up to the ceiling. Put those hands together. 
and then exhale, bring them in. One more reach to the universe. Push back, open that chest, let them out. And thank you so much for working us, working out with us today. We crushed yeah. it. Yes.